Hey everyone, I'm Rodrigo here, and I'm going to show you how the next version of Blazing SQL Notebooks will let you launch large scale clusters uh, quickly and easily to run GPU accelerated analytics on terabyte scale data sets. So, real fast, I'm just choosing one of our 2x large clusters. This is a pretty beefy cluster. We're actually going to get 32 GPU workers, and I'm putting an auto suspend. So, if I don't do anything inside Jupyter Lab, for about 15 minutes, it'll spin the server down and just stop it so that I can restart it at a later time and not pay, you know, a bunch of money per hour to leave a cluster of that scale. So it's going to take a couple of minutes to build because it's actually going to create the instances in AWS. So we're just going to wait um, a few minutes and come back and launch the Jupyter Lab. Okay. So that took a few minutes, but now we've got the server up and running. So you can see there's a link to a Jupyter Lab. So we can just open that link up. The link is going to require a token, which we provide here as well. You can just get this information by clicking on any uh, clicking on this area right here. And with that, we now have access to a 32 GPU cluster. So I've prepared a 30 a notebook for running on the 32 GPUs. Um, and I'm just going to run through it and show you kind of what's going on. So first we're creating a Dask client to make things a little bit nicer. I'm actually going to put this on the side here so you can kind of see what Dask is doing as it's receiving, you know, results for all the queries. That didn't work out the way I wanted it to. Let's just resize it. There we go. And then this should work the way I want it to. Yeah, we want this there. That's the right place. So from there, we're just going to import the Blazing package and start up the context. We're then going to register the S3 bucket, and then we're going to create a table off of line item. And if you recall, when we did this on the free version of app.blazingsql.com, the we did a count that took about a little over a minute. I think it was like a minute and a half to do a count star over the terabyte data set. So we're just going to do it right now. And yep, there we go, 3.6 seconds for a billion row count. And all of this data is in AWS S3. So now we're gonna do the same query we ran last time that ran in about eight minutes, eight and a half minutes, I think is technically what it was on app.blazingsql.com. This again is using 32 GPUs, 32 of the same exact Tesla T4 GPUs, and it's gonna run it in, there we go, 16 seconds. So data, all the way from AWS got pulled onto this server, processed by the GPUs, and then our query result came back in 16 seconds. To add a little bit more than what you all saw last time, so because we have so much GPU memory available and also system memory and disk space, we can actually scale up our query problems uh, or query complexity quite a bit. And so right here, I'm making a bunch of different tables that are all in S3 terabyte data sets. The only ones that aren't really any different are these because, you know, we don't have more nations or regions as data grows. And here you can see I'm doing a nested query with a join condition, and I'm joining basically the two biggest tables inside of uh, this one terabyte data set. So line item represents about 800 some odd gigs in total, and order represents, I don't know, let's say 100. Um, it's something on that order. And yeah, 14.9 seconds, where clause, joins, group buys, order buys, and you can see it came out in 14.9 seconds. And so now that I'm done, I can just come back here and stop this cluster so that I don't keep getting charged. So there we go. That's how easy it is to spin up a GPU cluster, query terabytes of data in, you know, literally seconds and then spin it down and only paid for, for whatever it cost.